everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We're off location again, still at the beach, as you can see. Some people get a little uh, frazzled when I don't have a backdrop or a sign, but guess what? Sometimes you just have to do what I call a coastal review. Um, tonight we are going to review, um, <clears throat> this is an interesting one, from the Stillwater uh, Arsenal. Um, they have this wacky uh, labels. Um, they've got one of the strangest websites. I've ever seen. Um, this, I believe, is what's called, it's even hard to read, it's their um, Neotropical Indian Pale Ale. It's 6% ABVs. They tell you nothing about it on the website, and there is nothing about it at all on the actual label itself. Um, they're, they're based out of Stratford, Connecticut. I bought it in a four-pack. It's brand new on the distrib distribution on the southern east coast where i am um it was 12 or 13 dollars for the four pack um it's interesting i cheated i actually had one at the store um they had just opened one because it literally had just come off the truck so i had about an ounce of it and uh it was it was interesting so it's considered an indian pale ale at only six percent abvs most are going to be a little bit higher than that um, what also is interesting, you're going to notice, I'm not going to pour all of this in here. Stop about right there. I know the lighting is not good. There's a ton of residuals down there, a bunch of flaky, frosted flakes looking things in there. So this is not extremely filtered. And as you can see in the glass, it's really, really cloudy. Um, it's got this kind of odd yellowish brownish color i don't even know what you would call it it's not orange it's not yellow it's not corn colored uh, but there's a ton of stuff floating around here um if you smell it it kind of has this um definitely kind of that germany pilsnery um uh malty kind of uh background to it and it's considered a tropical ipa so it definitely has some interesting notes to it um I would definitely not say it has a lot of, uh, you know, fruitiness to it. There's a little bit of maybe like a lemon, maybe an orange, maybe. But there's really not a lot of, uh, not a lot of much of aroma at all. So um, we're going to get into the glass here and try to give it a, a, the old college try here. Drinks better than it looks, I'll say that. Um a little bit of that orange kind of sweetness to it, a real very grainy, just like it looks. Um, kind of has like a like a cornmeal, um, almost what I would call, uh, um, you know, and it almost tastes like it has a background of like what Corona tastes like. Um, very sweet corn. This one I'm struggling with. You can kind of taste some hops in there. Um, it tastes like Simcoe maybe. Cascade hops, something very traditional. Um, there's not a lot of complexity to it at all. Um, I'm kind of a little bit stunned by this one as much residuals are still floating around. Um, it's drinkable. It's just got a weird mix of kind of that German malt flavor and aroma with this subtle corn sweetness aspect to it, almost like a Mexican lager with very, very little tropical notes to it so um i won't buy that again um it was not exciting i'm not even sure i'll finish it so um i'm gonna give it the old uh no good um we read a beer from between one and five and i'm trying to give this one a try because i remember in the store i was kind of like i'm not so sure about this but they convinced me it was good um it's not that good it's pretty boring um lack of flavor lack of complexity lack of aroma uh I don't do this often, but we read a beer which is one of five. I'll probably give it a one. It's probably one of the worst IPAs I've had in a long time. Um, I could brew an IPA way better than that, and I don't even brew anymore. So there you have it. So if you've tried this before, let us know. Leave comments on your YouTube channel. Please tell me I'm wrong. I want to be wrong when I have to rate beers that bad that I just spent $12 for a four-pack. But that's why we do these videos. So uh, leave comments on your YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we upload all the time. And we will see you again real soon.